100x gains, heck, even three, four, five, six hundred x gains, thousand x gains, whatever you want, big numbers. <laughs> it's all possible during this bull run. If you're saying, come on, internet man, don't be silly, those are crazy numbers. What, you don't think those kind of gains are possible? Guess you haven't been in crypto that long then. Go back and look at the altcoin charts from early 2017. Very surprising stuff. Ethereum went up by 20,000%. Digibyte went up by 65,000%. NEM went up by 79,000%. Yes, that happened. Heck, even this bull run, we've seen uh, protocols like synthetics go up by 10,000% already. Some of the ICOs are hitting you know, 100x gains in the first week or two of listing. It's happening all the time. You just have to be looking around to find those opportunities. The trick, as always, getting in early. So today I'm going to share some low market cap coins with you that I think have got that great gain potential, ones that I'm personally invested in or am investing in. My name's Lark, and every day I make videos to help you make money investing. So if that's what you want to do, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and make sure to catch all of my videos. By the way, every single week I make an investor report called Wealth Mastery. Now in every single issue, you're going to get a deep dive altcoin report, a trending coin analysis, a step-by-step -step decentralized finance tutorial. We do high-level technical analysis. There's an interview with an industry leader. We look at the latest token sales and airdrops and news affecting the market and much, much more. All of that for less than 10 bucks a week, making this the most value packed and the most affordable investor report on the market. So click on the link down below in the description to get signed up today and don't miss out on another issue. So let's get straight into this. The first three coins that we're going to be talking about will be familiar to regular channel visitors. I'm revisiting them because I'm still really bullish on these coins. The last two are hot new coins to get on your radar. Now, the first coin I want to talk with you about today is Ramp DeFi. Now, this is a liquid staking coin. Basically, the idea is that you take your coin. Let's uh, give an example and say Tezos, right? So you take your Tezos and you're currently earning you know, 5% staking rewards with your Tezos, but you are tying up an incredible amount of capital to get that 5%. So let's say you have $10,000 in Tezos, you're getting 500 bucks worth of Tezos a year. Well, the other 9,500 bucks is kind of inactive. What Ramp does is it allows you to stake with them and you'll still get your 5% Tezos rewards paid out, but you'll also get a USD stable coin in relation to the total value of your stake. You can then take those USD stable coins and, you know, increase your gains. You can use them, go start, you know, doing some yield farming. You can do some lending on a platform like BlockFi, whatever it is you want to do. Essentially, this allows you to double or triple or even more your total yield gains for the year. So you still get those staking rewards plus a bunch of yield farming rewards or lending rewards, whatever it might be. This is game changing stuff right here. And we have some big developments over at Ramp2. They will be adding in Ethereum based assets as well as ETH 2.0 staking tokens. So if you're an ETH 2.0 staker, you got all that, you know, capital locked up over there. Well, you can uh, release that capital, get that value, right, and increase your yields. So that's pretty cool. Or if you're staking a coin like uh, from a popular DeFi protocol like Synthetics, you can unlock your staked value again and increase your yield while still getting your SNX rewards. This is massive seeing them tapping into Ethereum tokens. The potential value capture here, billions of dollars. Now this coin is up about 5x since we started discussing it here on the channel, but looking at the scope of the project and its current market cap, I believe this has a lot of room to grow. I actually think that this could be a future DeFi blue chip coin, could even get to a market cap of a billion dollars this year. It's you know, that interesting of an idea, that useful of a technology for the DeFi space, so definitely wanted to keep an eye on. The second coin we're going to talk about is APY Finance. Now, this is a yield farming robo advisor. So the idea here is that you deposit funds with APY and they go and seek out the best yields for you. 
So kind of automating the process of doing DeFi, right? One deposit, put it in, bada bing, bada boom, they do the rest of the work. The advantage is here, you're automating the process. You don't have to go around around chasing all these different farms and opportunities all the time. And you pay much less in gas fees because you only have to deposit with them and they take care of the rest of it. Now, there's a few projects working in this niche. Uh, YFI, Wire and Finance, is the most famous one. But APY Finance, definitely an upcoming competitor to keep an eye on. They actually just released a sneak peek of their alpha version, meaning that you know it's coming soon. And if you're getting in now, you're getting in before the release of the main products you're getting in pretty early. It also means that the product will be released soon, which considering the current hype around DeFi will likely see the value of the coin appreciate quite a bit. Now, I first mentioned APY Finance on the channel back in December, so I think I've mentioned it again in uh, January as well. So I hope that you took notice that you did go out and accumulate some uh, APY Finance. It's been pumping like crazy. A few other YouTubers have been talking it up as well, so we've seen some pretty big gains for it in the past couple of days. So be careful if you are looking to take a position into this. You know, when you see something pump by 200% in a day, you know, there's probably going to be a bit of a chill out period afterwards. So just something to keep in mind. But long term, I'm bullish on this. I think it's going to be a really, uh, you know, big earner for this bull run. Again, this is another potential billion dollar market cap plus coin. Wire and finance is like $1.4 billion or something right now. So APY finance, a lot of room to run. The third coin, Reef Finance. Now, this is a Polkadot based liquidity aggregator and yield engine allowing for uh, both trading and access to centralized and decentralized exchanges. So sourcing liquidity from across the crypto market. They're also offering smart lending, smart borrowing, staking, and mining, thanks to an AI-driven uh, yield engine. Basically, a total freaking DeFi powerhouse in the making, focusing on the right market at the right time. And they're even built on the Polka hype blockchain, I mean, <clears throat> Polka dot blockchain, which is obviously getting a lot of attention at the moment. And what's really interesting is we don't actually have any DeFi blue chips built on Polka dot yet, right? There will be DeFi blue chips and Reef could be one of those. The entire Polkadot ecosystem is still, you know, just waiting to explode. Now, the current market cap of Reef Finance is like $120 million, somewhere around there at the moment, um, which is interesting because it's one of the biggest uh, DeFi coins by market cap in the Polkadot ecosystem. And for reference, it's like 160 on the market cap rankings, meaning that one of the biggest DeFi projects on Polkadot and it hasn't even cracked into the top 100 yet. Now it would need just another 4X from its current price to get into the top 100, and then around a 30X to get into the top 20 based on current market caps. So a lot of potential here for it to run. Polkadot ecosystem in general, totally undervalued. Now, the next two coins I wanna discuss with you are actually upcoming token sales. Now the first is called Shadows. Now this is a platform for issuing, trading, borrowing, and lending synthetic assets on, of course, Polkadot, 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 man, so hot right now. The trading of synthetic assets, very big, very popular use case for cryptocurrencies. I mean, just look at synthetics. Look how popular it has been. Um, others like Linear Finance have been totally going crazy as well. The addressable market, trillions of dollars in assets that can be synthesized and brought into DeFi. Token holders will get a percentage of the platform transaction fees as well, providing you know, good incentives to hold the token. This is going to be launched over on Paid Network's Ignition Launchpad. In fact, it's going to be the first uh, launchpad on the Paid Network. So to get a guaranteed allocation in the sale, it's not cheap. Not cheap according to the Launchpad framework. But you can look for this to hit Uniswap after the sale if you don't participate in the token sale on the uh uh, launch pad over on paid network. So if you can afford to do that, definitely something to look into. Otherwise, do look forward to list on Uniswap. We don't have any dates yet around when it's going to be listing on Uniswap, but keep it on your radars. I think this is going to, one, going to be one that's going to do very well in the post-market environment. Remember, Synthetics has a market cap of nearly $4 billion. This one's starting right down at the bottom. It's going to work its way up there. So there's a lot of room for those buying in Uniswap to make gains on this coin over time. As mentioned with uh, Reef, there's currently no Polkadot blue chips or even a Polkadot billion dollar DeFi market cap coin yet. So exponential growth for the Polkadot ecosystem coins right now. 
the huge market caps of the Ethereum based coins does prove, though, that there's a strong market demand for these kind of products. So one to keep an eye on. And I fully expect that the early movers like Shadows probably going to be able to capture a significant market share on Polkadot as they're one of the you know, early players and a lot of the uh, money and users will flow into it. The final coin I want to discuss with you today is Polka Markets. Now, this is a Polkadot based DeFi prediction market. Now, Polka Markets will allow you to make predictions on the outcome of things like uh, elections or sporting events, stuff like this, right? This allows you to basically go out and put your money where your mouth is when it comes to the outcome of an event, right? So if you think one party is going to win an election over the other party, well, you can go and, you know, put your money down on that. It will even include features to make it uh, more fun, like NFT gamification, which is good. Gamifying platforms is always, you know, good, especially with NFTs, which are so damn hot right now. They're also going to do live streaming for big events like sports games, uh, you know, letting you come in and, you know, chat and watch the outcome of the event play out in real time. So that's pretty cool too. Prediction markets have proven to be pretty popular over on Ethereum, but I think the gamification of uh, what they're doing here at polka markets could really take this to the next level and of course again first mover advantage as it's coming to polka dots so the first prediction markets over there unique incentives with nfts as well as the uh, entertainment focus should allow park polka markets to build up a pretty strong base of engaged users so again pretty interesting one to watch out for it's happening over on polka starter 2 which basically means it's going to go insane all of the polka starter launch pads have done very very well if you can get into the public sale on Polka Starter, then that is the place of maximum potential uh, rewards. Otherwise, watch for this to hit the secondary markets. Anyway, those are my picks to have on your radar for right now. For those of you who are out there seeking some good low cap uh, DeFi coins to be looking at or to be looking to get into. So those are ones, some ones, go do the research, go check them out, right? Don't just buy them because I talked about them. But now if you want, if you think they're interesting, go out and have a look. Check them out. See if it's actually interesting for you when you've done the research, if it's something you want to buy or not. Anyway, your question for today, is there a DeFi altcoin low cap that you think everybody should be watching right now? You know, something I didn't mention, something that should have been in this video. Lark, why didn't you mention this coin, man? Come on, come on, Lark, what are you doing? Why aren't you talking about this coin? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.